All right, so I'd like for you to stand basically right there the whole time. All right. And I'm going to try to be right here in your field of vision. We just want to stretch out first. So hang tight. You want to go feet a little wider than hip shoulder width apart. Yet bring those toes out about 30 degrees. That's fine. Bring your, bring your feet in about one more inch, just a smidge, just inch. Yep. So we want those ankles right up under the armpits. So that looks perfect right there. Take a look down. I want you to memorize where your feet are in relation to your body. Let's make sure they're there every time when we do our squat. Next, without moving our without moving our feet, we're just going to throw our hips back and pop our elbows in our knees. I'll be behind you so you don't fall back. Pop your elbow right there. There you go. Boom. Now use your hands to smash your knees out. Boom. Now notice automatically your back becomes nice and flat. That's perfect. Automatically, you're looking down at the floor. Mm -hmm. These are real, real good things. I always want your gaze to be right here during the squat. Now, I want you to drive your hips up to the ceiling, pushing my hand away. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Go back down. Good. Driving up hard here. There it is, friend. One more time. Good. Let's look down. Good. Bring your head down. Good. Now, press up hard through the hips. Yep. There we go. Now you're starting to feel a little bit more glute activation here. Mm -hmm. And I want to bias the exercise to where we get all of this muscle. Okay, let's do it, let's do it a couple more times. Your toes are starting to spin out a little bit. So let's bring those toes in to 30 degrees. And let's widen that back about an inch. Widen it out an inch. There you go. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Good. Elbows about right here. Good. Good. Head down. Put your head down. Now drive up with your hips. Okay, good. And so let me explain to you why we do our hip day. Okay. So it actually, it's easier for me to even show you. So go down one more time for your squat. Now I want you to bring your head up and look to the ceiling. Okay. Now try to drive your hips up. See how much harder, how much harder that is? Do it one more time the right way. There, good. Let me just make sure here. So that's that's the perfect depth right there. We want to make sure that we're always here at this angle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Drive your hips up while looking down. There it is. There it is. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Good. Good job. So that's how we're going to squat. All right. Using our hips with our back at about a 45 degree angle. All right. So, go ahead and approach the bar and you want to take a thumbless grip on the bar. So, put your pinky right here on this ring and we'll start to move it in about an inch every single session. Okay. Right there. Thumbless grip. So, we want to place the bar right underneath the spine of the scapula. The lower we can get it to go, the better hold it we can get. Mm -hmm. However, we can't get it any lower than that. All right? So let me get you to go out even wider because I want it to be comfortable for you and then we'll bring it in. So without moving your hands, duck under the bar and put the bar right here. Good. Good. And I'm going to slide you in the space right here and make sure you don't squat until I say squat. So bring the hips back. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Just, just bend back. There you go. That, that feels, seems like it's a bit more comfortable for you. We need to get you down about another inch. Now, if you need to go wider here, you can. That feels better on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go to the left one here. Good. Right there. So now I want you to feel that barbell right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, do you have the mobility to raise your hands around a little bit more? Just like that, yeah, you just sort of keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. Good. So now that should not be comfortable at all. Mm -hmm. That should feel terrible. And that's what we want, expert back support. Exactly, notice how tight this is, okay? Now I want you to take a big breath and bring your hips forward and smash your knees back. Boom! So this is how the top of the squat's going to feel every single time. Mm -hmm. Now that it's up here, I'm going to see if I can't move those wrists into a better position. If you need to go wider on your hands, you can. 
boom, because I really want that bar right here. Now you're starting to get it. Now we're starting to get that feel. Okay, walk it back. Good, boom. So right here is good. So if you look down, you'll notice your feet are pretty much where they need to be. Let's go out one more inch, and now bring those toes in a little bit more. All right, so just like we did over here, you're gonna take a big, deep breath. I'll tell you when. You're gonna take a big, deep breath, and you're gonna go down and up the same way you just did here. You don't have your knees, your elbows driving your knees out. Okay, so you have to do that with your knees. Okay, you gotta do that with your brain. Okay, I'll be behind you. Let's try it. Breath and down. Hips back. Good. Up with this. Good. I want your chest to face the floor. Okay. Okay. Throw your hips back, chest to the floor. Good. That's very good. Even more than that. Even more than that. Chest to the floor. Bend over. That's the angle that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, this time that you've got that angle, that torso inclination, now I want you to drive your knees out. So we need two cues. Bend over, knees out. Go. Bend over, knees out hard. Good. Drive up with the hips. Drive up with the hips. Much better. Much better. Three more, just like that. Okay. Keep that rack right there. Okay. Breath. Back. Boom. Up. Bend over. And hips up. Good job, walk it in. And you'll hear the rack go quick, quick, and down. And that, friend, is your first set of squats. Well, I've got some timers going on here. Um, don't worry about, worry about what those need. This helps me speed up my progression, so I'm not talking so much. Okay. All right, good deal.